G'day everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back once again to another movie reaction and today we're going to be watching the 2001 horror film 13 Ghosts. It's from the same director as Ghost Ship, which I personally really enjoyed when I reacted to that in the later portion of 2022. Like, I enjoyed it way more than I thought it would. A lot of people don't seem to like this movie critically, but a lot of the people in the comments section, including myself, really, really loved that movie. So I'm excited to check this out. It features Matthew Lillard, and aside from that, I know nothing. I've been seeing this movie popping up in a lot of my videos over the past couple years in regards to a recommendation for a movie I should react to. I've also heard a lot of people saying that because I was like, Saw 5 was the first movie in regards to a walls closing trap, where you actually saw the end result, almost like the trash compactor in Star Wars. And everyone was just telling me, no, 13 Ghosts did it first. So I'm excited to see that because that's apparently in this movie. But other than those things, I know nothing. I know it's got Matthew Lillard, as I said, and anything Matthew Lillard's in, I've got to check it out. It's one of the big reasons as to why I'm watching the Five Nights at Freddy's movie later this year, among other reasons, such as me being a fan of the games when I was a kid, but I'm excited to check it out nonetheless, guys. Before we get into it, please comment down below. Let me know what other movies you'd like to see me react to eventually. I want to catch up on a few of the sequels for movies that I reacted to in the past, but I never caught up on. For one, I do eventually want to watch the sequel to August Underground. I do want to watch the sequel to Sleepaway Camp and many, many more movies as well. Um, yeah, I'm super excited just to check it out. I hope you've all been enjoying the videos over the last couple of weeks. I hope you're all enjoying the Saw content, which I'm sure by the time of me recording this video, it's July 30th. 30th as of me recording this video. I don't know when this video will be up, but there's a lot of Saw stuff coming out, but I'm excited to check it out nonetheless, guys. Um, yeah, let's get stuck into it and let's watch 13 Ghosts. It's either they're not meant to be in there or he's too lazy to get out and open the gate himself. Like, that's just unnecessary. Fuckers with a tape recorder and the fucking mixing panel. I don't know what that's all for, but it seems high tech. That that car doesn't look like it belongs here at all. Ah, there he is. Is it bad tonight? <laughs> oh, bad. That's one way to describe it. God, it's so cool to see Matthew Lillard in anything. It, it's so cool. I love the man so much. So he's like a common Lorraine Warren. He can sense the dead. He can, he can, he can feel and sense and see the dead, I guess? Demon. Or maybe it's because he broke his victims into as many pieces as possible. Jesus Christ. Anyone could have died. None of you need to be here. None of you should be here. Full of blood. You gotta be shit <laughs> Nathie clearly having a lot of fun with this. Old mate is being dragged all way. Ah! Oh! Dead. Very fucking dead. Have fun, all of you. Okay, so maybe one of the 13 ghosts is here? Whoa! That's cool. That was very fucking cool. I like that. I like that very much. Oh, hi. Oh! oh, my sternum. Yeah, this is very 2000s. It has that. Look, I know I've got a lot of videos planned in the future about it, but Saw 10 were coming out. This is reminding me of Saw editing from my recent rewatches. Oh. All mates locked in there with it. It's slightly more obnoxious than Saw editing. Saw was stylistic. This is kind of weird. Oh, Jesus Christ! Cyrus is very dead! Fucking decapitated pretty, pretty, pretty much. That little metal sheet through his neck there. Holy Christ! Well, this is a weird scene to cut to after everything we just witnessed. Hmm? What's that? Why is the smoke alarm on? 
I was about to ask the same fucking question. Why is a smoke alarm on it? Is this got dark very quickly again? We have a special treat for you today. A body was found this morning, decapitated. Hey, 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 decapitated. Bobby, honey, find a healthier hobby. Leave me alone, you guys. I'm recording. Yeah, whenever I'm to moving a recording and my family barges in. Dad, will you tell Kathy that keeping a record of death is healthy? Kathy, keeping she a record of death is healthy. healthy. Yeah. Cause she's being a little slut about it. Bobby. Whoa. Your sister's slut. <laughs> I love how the fucking father is laughing about that. Holy shit. Mr. Kritikos. That's right. You're uh. Ben Moss. Moss. How do you do? Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Please, uh, just uh, give me one minute, please. Right. He's gonna recruit them. He's gonna recruit them to go look for the 13 ghosts. Arthur. It's good to talk to you. Sadly, if you're watching this now, it means I am no longer among the living. Happily, that makes you and your family my sole beneficiaries. I've instructed my lawyer, Mr. Moss, to deliver the essential elements in my last will and testament. So I'm correct, they're getting everything, and I think they mentioned in the opening that he had 12 ghosts or some shit, so they're gonna get the 12 ghosts as well. Excited? Yeah, mom would have freaked over this. Yeah. Looks like things are starting to get better, right? Yeah. For some people still grieving over their fucking wife and mother's death, they don't seem- Oh, he's got a goofy look in his face of Hehehehe, <laughs> we've got something planned for them. You know, it's like, mmm, mmm. Yeah, they're not grieving too much anymore. It's like David and Cyberpunk Edge Runners with his mother. After episode one, completely forgets. Until like episode seven. Cool! You say cool now, kid, but it's not gonna be cool soon. Oh, hey, it's about time somebody showed up. Did you play? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Cool> <laughs> you. I'm the power guy? Hi Matthew, how you doing buddy? You're not really there to inspect, you're here to get rid of it and blow it up. You come back tomorrow, is that maybe a possibility? Oh, tomorrow? Let me see. Oh, there's about 5,570 houses right now without power. My <laughs> That's a good fucking excuse. He came up with a good fucking ploy to get inside. Good on him. God, he really was an adventurer. Look at all this gear. Look at this place. What an incredible wealth of knowledge. Yeah, exactly. An incredible wealth of knowledge. Look at all this ancient shit. Well, not ancient, but you get what I mean. It's old. Antiques, almost. Fucking hell. Oh, Cyrus. You crazy son of a bitch. What did you do? <laughs> I'm guessing he made this house out of the containers they caught the ghosts in, and they're just gonna be lurking around inside the walls, essentially, at first. That's my fucking guess, because look, it's the exact same fucking walls and container type shit as the opening scene what they use to catch the ghost. Arthur, we've got some papers to sign in the library. After that, I would love to take you and your family on a tour of the house. Great, great. I don't want you guys to move from this spot. We'll be right back. Dad, you're being paranoid and overprotective? Yeah, he's definitely being paranoid and overprotective, but it might be the smartest decision in this movie, but they're not gonna fucking stay. I'm calling it right now. They're not gonna stay. Yeah, there, there they go. There they, there they fucking go. They're just fucking off. They're off. Bippity boppity. We're gonna fuck up your property. I'm gonna chuck in a jumper. It's way too cold. Fuck this. <sighs> there we go. Anime jumper for the win. <laughs> ah! <sighs> that fucking scared the shit out of me. What the hell? Arthur, you don't need to worry. Uh, Cyrus was a genius when it came to finances. Basically, you and your family don't ever have to worry about money again. Oh boy, that would be a fucking dream, wouldn't it? I'm always living Fortnite to Fortnite. <laughs> like, like, scoop. Like, wow. No! Whoa! Fucking shit. Oh my god, there is a lot of ghosts down there. There is a fucking lot of them. Oh, oh, you're a bit big and you're vomiting everywhere. What the fuck is with these guys? Arthur, we gotta... Arthur, we, we have to talk. What is the deal with the breakers? There's uh, nothing wrong with the breakers. I'm not the power guy. 
My name is Dennis Rafkin. You're Dennis Rafkin? Who's Dennis Rafkin? My office warned me about this guy. No, let's go. My office warned me about this guy. He worked with your uncle for him doing things that led to his demise. He's hunting ghosts and everything. You got ghosts in your fucking house, asshole. Uh, 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 like wraiths. Wraiths? Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? I know of wraiths. I've played Phasmophobia. I know what a wraith, a wraith is. Goats? Ghosts! Oh, God, <laughs> me. I love the overacting from Matthew Lillard. He's having so much fun in this role. What a goofy fucker. I love him. As in, uh, as in disgruntled spirits trapped on Earth. Ghosts, you know, Ghost, as in right. Halloween. Okay, boo. Okay. What a fucking description. Ghosts like Halloween. Boo. I'll be in here. I'm sorry. But where's the fucking privacy? What if your father has a girl over? Or what if you have a fucking guy over? It's see-through walls. You're just gonna be fucking on display for literally anyone to see. You might want to get some blackout curtains. Grab your children. Do the same. Are you alright? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and he's seeing the burning of his wife! His wife burning- Oh, stop touching him! Stop touching him! Stop touching him! He's giving him- ah, Damn. It's gonna make him- um, See shit. It's gonna make him see shit. Don't touch him. Don't touch me. Stop touching him. Yeah, please, stop touching him. God, imagine that. Imagine being Matthew Lillard's character in this, and you want to have, like, a sexual or romantic partner. You'd never be able to kiss them, you'd never be able to cuddle them, you'd never be able to hug or hold hands, because if something tragic happened in their life where they had the death of a loved one that they witnessed, boom, bye, fuck, bleh, he'd be seeing all of it, and it'd be traumatizing. Power guy. Idiot. Whoa. Why is it illuminating the fucking text? Why is it illuminating the text, those glasses? I've just noticed that. Why Why is that a thing? What are you staring at? What's he staring at? He's gonna fucking kill your ass. You're, you're dead. You're fucking dead. Hey, nice tits. Nice tits, excuse me? The fuck is wrong with you? I don't know, honey. Oh, uh, am I, am I, oh, I am gonna have to censor some nudity in this. There's boobies. There's boobies in this. Ah, oh, damn it! This movie just made my job way fucking harder. I uh, I was just kidding. Before. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. You were so dead. Oh come on, the fucking boobies! The boobies! Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Is he dead? Did he just get split in half? <laughs> oh, that's such a cool death! I love that! That's so good! That is so good! Oh, I love that so much. That's so cool. Holy shit, I've never seen that before. Imagine that being a saw trap. Good god, if you don't do something in 60 seconds, fucking bonk. Bathrooms, yes. unbelievable! Yes, great house. Beautiful bathroom now. Where is your brother? He's with Maggie. I don't... Uh, was with Maggie. We were racing and, and we saw all the glass. Oh, well, that's shot. good. Yeah, yeah. great, to great. Watch him. See, that's now what now I mean. he's lost. Now he's fucking lost. He didn't hire you to let your, his son get lost. You're the nanny, aren't you? Oh, boy. The kid's gonna head downstairs. The kid's gonna go downstairs. That's not good. Oh, and he Maggie? is. He hears voices, he hears voices, oh god. I don't blame this kid for being dumb, he's a curious little kid. He's a curious little boy, but he's dead. Maybe. It's a kid, surely that wouldn't kill a kid. What do you mean it's all sealed up? What part of that code are you having trouble cracking? The entire house is sealed up. Well, there must be another way out. I've looked. Well, we're gonna look again, right after we find my son. Now get up. That's all right. I'll wait right here. Listen. <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't care if you've got a kid. I'm staying here with my chance of survival is fucking high, motherfucker. I'm staying here. My sight. Now get up! Ooh. Alright. Breathe. <laughs> Alright. Breathe. Did the lawyer split? I'm really... Ah, I get it! I get it! Did the lawyer split? You're damn right he fucking did. Just sort of down the middle, I guess. Vertically. Um... He dead. Matthew Lillard's performance in this is so much fun. He's having a good time with this. He, he's enjoying himself. He's enjoying himself. 
Kid, don't follow on. I know you're wearing the glasses and you can probably see, but all that's gonna happen is you're gonna be lured down where the ghosts are and they're gonna fucking follow you. Either written or spoken, ghosts have to obey whatever the spells say. They're not gonna listen to him, because to any normal person, ghosts would sound like a very peculiar and very bizarre concept that is not realistic or natural in the slightest, so they'd just be immediately- Oh, motherfucker! Hi! 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 She's having a seizure! She's a dead ghost having a seizure! Just fucking- no! Eggs, fucking excuse me! Oh, Jesus Christ! The ghost imagery is really cool. I love them. I love it. It's so good. I like the different designs of the ghosts too. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Bobby just went smack! He didn't- he's not gonna die, is he? Is he gonna die? Oh, so they're talking to him through the little radio device thing, I think. So it's like a spirit box almost. That's interesting. I actually like that. Keep that on you at all times, Bobby. Oh, hi, Cyrus. Hi, Cyrus. How you doing, my friend? So he became a ghost living in that house too. Kind of. Wait, what? Okay. Kathy and I will head up this way. No. You two check down there. No. no, 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 no. Why are you splitting up? Don't split up. This isn't fucking Scooby Doo. I was down here before. They weren't open. <laughs> oh my God! I hate it when they do that. What? <laughs> they wait for you to see the face right up against the glass. It's hilarious. I love that. I hate it when they do that. That's a it's cool a ghost. design. It's a ghost, just like That's a really it fucking night. cool design. I love that. His design is phenomenal. The ghost design is incredible. What is he doing? I don't know. Um, I see. You, I don't you, you, you might want to move. You might want to go. You might want to run. He took out one of the screws of his chest or whatever and fucking smacked it against the glass. Look, I don't think anything can break that reinforced glass, but probably the ghost. What the fuck is Matthew Lillard doing right there? Fucking. What the fuck? Fucking mm -hmm. yes, ghosts. Holy fucking shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, that's not good. Holy fuck! What are you? Are you a jackal? I know Matthew Lillard was just mentioning fucking jackals, but I, I that might very well be a jackal. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, she's been clawed up! What the fuck? Very mean spirited right now. Very mean spirited. Get her the fuck down from there! <laughs> good question! Who the hell are you? That's a very good fucking question. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, boy. The tits lady is back. The tits lady is back. At least the jackal's behind a door it can't get past. Now he's a believer. Now he's a believer of the jackals and the ghosts and all the fucking fucking fuck. Many people died in the quest for this book. It was written in the 15th century by an astrologer named Basilius. In it, he describes the making of a certain machine. One that can see into the future. He wrote it while he was under demonic possession. I can't believe Cyrus built it. Oh, okay. So demonic possession machine sees into the future. That's probably why he's enslaved the ghost. And Cyrus built it so he can... Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Kathy, can you walk? Kathy, oh, Kathy? come on. Kathy? Oh, come on. Really? Where did she go? Was she taken? Was she fucking- did she run away? I doubt she ran away, she was probably taken. Oh! He's in the room with one! Holy fuck, how's that gonna work? Is he just gonna have to evade and avoid with her directing him? This entire time? That's- That's an unfortunate fucking circumstance. Oh, the barrel roll! Oh, Matthew, you absolute legend. Can I rely on you not to get me killed? I guarantee nothing. Yeah, in a situation like this, you really can't guarantee anything. Even if you can see the ghost, they're much faster, stronger, and also dead. 
So you can't kill a dead thing. There's a reason why zombies are called the undead, because you need to kill them. You you can kill zombies still. Ghosts, no. They're, they're technically just dead. <laughs> Oh, hi! They're meeting up! Yay! Reunited! Finally! All together again! Uh-oh! 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 Jackal! 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 Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. You're gonna have to wanna run. You're gonna have to wanna run? You're gonna wanna run. Sorry. No, get him and run! Get him and run! His back might be scratched up. Limited mobility, but you'll... gonna do you're just gonna fucking you look like a t-rex with your head like that you're not gonna be able to hurt anyone <laughs> she, that ghost wouldn't be able to do anything anyway such limited mobility unless she wants to fucking jump kick someone i come within 10 feet of anything dead i go into seizures i touch somebody and a whole life full of shit just flashes in front of my eyes all right, so yeah, I'm depraved. And Cyrus is my friend, and he accepted me, so. <laughs> he didn't accept you, you're so pathetic. He used you. That's fucking accurate. He definitely fucking used Dennis. He definitely fucking used Dennis. There's no way in hell he accepted him, nor were they friends. He used him to get what he wanted. Oh God, what, what, tell me what, what now? About the fourth ghost. What's the fourth ghost? What's the, f what's the fourth ghost? Wait, what the hell? It's his wife, it's his wife. St. Luke's Hospital, six months ago. Fuck. Fuck. It's his wife. That's why fucking... Oh, mate, the kid. That's why the kid saw his wife, uh, his mother. I didn't know her. I didn't know she had a husband. <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's, that's fucking deserved. That's fucking deserved. No way. Uh, yeah, there's no way he didn't deserve that. The 13th ghost is a failsafe. In order to stop the process, the house needs a sacrifice of life instead of death. Also, oh, one of you are about to die. One of you are about to die. A human sacrifice. You're, 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 you're the thirteen ghosts. Made it out of an act of pure love. You're the thirteenth ghost. Wait. So is the father Arthur gonna die as an act of love to save his kids? He's gonna kill himself to end this all once and for all. Oh. No fucking way, lady. That's suicide, Arthur. I, I'm not gonna yeah. let you do it. You need to hence come up why with your son was talking about suicide earlier on his little radio podcast fucking toy thing. That little hand movement I just did looked really fucking weird. No one put that out of context. Well, we can try it the old-fashioned way, my personal favorite. But nobody's gonna be here to brag about it afterwards. Whatever we decide, we've got to come up with a game plan soon because time's running out. So it's either sacrifice himself to stop the machine, and this all ends right here, right now, freeing the souls, or kamikaze this bitch, just fucking dynamite. How many flares you have left? One. Why? We're going out again. Oh, no fucking way. Arthur, you want to get yourself killed? <laughs> I love her reactions to everything. They're so good. They're so realistic and so funny all at once. Go, go. Oh, that's smart. That's actually really smart. The incantations on the fucking glass, using that as a shield and a barrier to keep them at bay. That's very fucking smart. No place like home. What do you mean There's this no is home, like Dennis? Home. This is home for Arthur and it's gonna be home for you in the afterlife because I doubt you and Arthur are making it out of this movie alive. I doubt Arthur and Dennis are making it out. I don't want to see Matthew Lillard die, but I, I have a feeling that because of his character and what his relationship is with involvement of the, uh, what is it, the fourth ghost being his wife, there's no way in hell he gets out. <laughs> Oh god damn, there's the eye machine and it's getting really big and fast now. Holy crap, it's going off. So that's what Arthur's gonna have to throw himself into to stop all of this if worse comes to worst. You'd be shredded. Also, I've just realized we haven't seen the daughter or the son in a very long fucking time. They've just disappeared out of this movie entirely. Could they not afford it or anything? And that's why they've written, written it this way? I don't know, we haven't even cut back to them to, you know, even have like a remote update. <laughs> Well, I guess the barrier glass works. It keeps them at bay. I guess it's working. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's Cyrus. That's definitely Cyrus. Yeah, it's Cyrus. He's come to play. He's come to play. Someone's about to die. Someone's definitely about to fucking die. 
What? Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Um, fucking what now? Hello? How is this happening? Huh? What the fuck is going- Wait, 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 wait. What? She- she's- she's- Kissing a dead guy. A dead but ghost, but she's alive or some- What? Oh, it's the hammer. It's the hammer. You need to get the fuck out of there. Oh, no. He's protecting him. Wait, wait, wait. Why not just pull it forward and then protect yourself from the hammer together? What the fuck is going on? Why wouldn't they just do it together? That's so dumb! Dennis, don't be an idiot! No! No! Ah, his hand! Oh, his hand would be absolutely destroyed after that! <laughs> yeah, you're not walking. Ever again. Your back is so broken after that. Your spine is severed. Holy fuck, that's a broken back. That's a very broken back. Dennis is so dead. Bye, Matthew Lillard. It was good having you in the movie. It was good while it lasted. I hope you're having a fun time, my friend. Now I have a job to do. And so have you. Mm hmm? Do it. Do it! Do it. Do it now and unleash the full power of the dark side of the forest. M miss you. I'm nothing without you. And now he'll really never see her again. This was his last opportunity. Now he's gonna make sure his kids are safe and then he fulfills his duty and yeah. Wow, okay. Bit abrupt regarding their reunion, but it's fitting, it works. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! What did he do that for? What did he do that for? He's killing- Oh! Oh, he's killing her! Not as gory as Saw by any means, but what a horrifying way to fucking die. That amount of pressure. Holy crap. Holy crap, so he's now gonna sacrifice and kill himself now to stop this, to save the kids who are now in deep fucking peril. Also, what's the nanny doing? She's still passed out? Oh, oh, they've got no choice but to be there doing this. Oh, so how's he gonna stop it? How's he gonna take his own life and stop this? The sacrifice. In the 13th ghost. No, he's not. No, he's not. Cyrus is the 13th. Cyrus has to be the 13th. Cyrus isn't dead. He's alive. She's just fucking with a bunch of stuff right now. She's awake and she's fucking with the entire mix and go to our ricka ricka ricka. <laughs> She's pressing every fucking button on the planet. I don't know if that's a good fucking idea, but it's probably not, if you ask me. But, you know, she's doing it anyway. Fuck it. Whatever works. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead! <laughs> What's about to happen to him? What's about to happen to him? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I can't show that. There's no way in hell I can fucking show that. No, no way in hell. It's not over yet. You can finish this. <laughs> How though? How though? Please tell me, Matthew Lillard. I would very much like to know. Oh, timing. 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 He has to time it and jump through. Oh, there's a... There's a gap. There's a very small gap. He has to time it right. Right there. Right there. Count the seconds, count the seconds. Find the interval of which it happens consistently. Oh my god, how did she not die? If she didn't die from that, I'm gonna be surprised. 
Fucking barely, that almost, that almost failed. In early 2000s tradition, this ending and this climax is pure visual chaos. Holy shit. Oh, well, the ghosts are all free at least. At least they're able to all run free and everything. Um, bye, have fun. I hope you have a peaceful after, I hope you have a peaceful afterlife. <gasps> they did it, they made it. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy for them. Good. You oh, okay? Bye, Matthew. Bye, Matthew. I hope you have a good one. Also, how was Arthur able to see him without the glasses, considering he's now a ghost? Um, there's no way they should have been able to see Dennis without the glasses. It made sense to Cyrus because he was still alive. Dennis? No. Nah. Uncle Ghost, I am sick of this nanny shit. I've had it. This was not in the job description. I quit! <laughs> I don't blame ya. I don't fucking blame ya. I'd be quitting too. I, I'd be fucking done. I'd be well and truly done with that. Oh boy. Very cool. Alright, that was 13 Ghosts. Um... I enjoyed it. The thing is for a movie like this that a lot of people I don't think understand because critics did not review this movie very well as you can see here it is very rotten on Rotten Tomatoes and that's the average like negative like you choose whether it's positive or negative or whether it's fresh or rotten and then it has a percentage as the accumulated score between all critics. This has a negative score on Rotten Tomatoes and I think a large portion of that is because critics not necessarily didn't get it but didn't understand what type of movie they were watching. From the very beginning of the movie I understood that this was going to be a cheesy over the top 2000s horror flick and for that I didn't take it too seriously there are a few things that are a bit confusing a few inconsistencies seemingly breaks its own rules from time to time but it's still a damn entertaining damn enjoyable and damn fun horror movie that has a lot of pacing issues might I add there is a lot of things in this movie that I just sit there and I'm going nah nah you're a bit boring. Um, I'm not necessarily going to skip through them on rewatches, but it's nothing particularly interesting for me to sit down and rewatch those moments. And it's not necessarily a movie I'll watch over and over again either. I didn't enjoy this nearly as much as Ghost Ship by any means, but it is still a really enjoyable and really entertaining early 2000s horror flick that I will watch again. I will buy the Blu-ray. I rented it on YouTube Movies. And, um, it's a fun time. Seriously, if you're going to check this movie out in full, just go into it thinking it's going to be a dumb, cheesy, and just turn your brain off fun 2000s horror movie, and you'll have a good time. It's good in that nature. It's not a so bad it's good. It's just a good turn your brain off horror movie, because you don't need to take every movie seriously if you do that. What's the point? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Look out for more videos coming very soon. I really enjoyed Ghost Ship. I do have some more videos planned, as I said at the beginning of the video, um, in regards to reactions, more saw content, more movie reviews and everything. I'm trying to be a bit more consistent with those. So yeah, hopefully those will come soon enough. Thank you all so much for watching. Look out for more videos coming very soon, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.